Planet Dolan. Feels like Armageddon is never that far away, but what happens to Earth when the dominant species is wiped off its face? Do we make a mark, or are we just another blip in the history of life? Here are 15 things that would happen if humanity suddenly went extinct. I'm Danger Dolan, and today, I will be your narrator. Number 15. The first week, the civilizations of the 21st century run on electricity, and this would cut out within a couple of hours of humanity's departure. Nighttime Earth would go dark, and light pollution would disappear completely. This would immediately change the lives of birds and insects whose flight patterns have been confused by city lights. For the first time in over a century, radio signals from the planet would cease and silence would prevail. Number 14. Domesticated animals. The first victims would be our beloved pets. Cats and dogs trapped at home would die from starvation within 10 days. Of the ones that escaped, packs of the tougher, larger breeds would roam cities for years, and breeds like Chihuahuas and Pugs would die out quickly, as humans bred out all survival ability a long time ago. Animals in battery farms would die too, filling warehouses with millions of tons of dead bodies. Number 13. Man-made species. Without human intervention, many domesticated farm animals would die painful deaths, like sheep, whose wool we have selectively bred to grow until it suffocates the animal, and cows whose milk glands would swell up. Man-made, non-native crops would not survive competition from native species, and other modified crops would revert to their ancestral form. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower would devolve to one species, and the same would happen to horses, who would revert to Zawalski's wild horse within centuries. Number 12. Wildlife recovery. While human bred animals would die out, wild species would flourish. Land animals that suffer hunting would recover, although without conservation, some critically endangered species like the panda might not make it. The biggest change would be in the seas. Populations of fish, sharks, whales, and dolphins that have been decimated by overfishing would recover rapidly within decades restoring the balance of life to the oceans. Number 11. Nuclear power stations. Proven that mankind can still harm the planet after we're gone, the 450 or so nuclear power stations around the world would cause lasting damage. A few hours after power loss, the safety cooling systems would kick in. After a month, the coolant would have evaporated, leading to meltdowns worse than Fukushima or Chernobyl. Clouds of irradiated gas would be released, creating fallout zones that would kill most local wildlife for a few centuries. Number 10. Chemical waste. Radiation is not the only mess we'd leave behind. Storage containers of harmful chemicals around the world would begin to decay, spilling harmful substances into the soil that could remain for hundreds of years. Much of the heavy metals from industry and electronics would enter the soil and be repurposed, but some compounds would seep into rivers and lakes, temporarily killing freshwater life. Number 9. Cities. Even the most advanced and cleanest cities would quickly fall apart. After 25 years, 75% of the world's roads and pavements would be cracked and overgrown with plants. Over a century, cities in cold climates would crumble as frozen pipes and cracks burst in the winter. Tropical cities would become overgrown as plants forced their way into every nook and cranny, and cities in the desert would be overcome by sand erosion. Number 8. New York. Journalist Alan Wiseman takes New York as an example of a city returning to nature. After a few years, rats and cockroaches die out, deprived of food, and after 20 years, steel structures begin to decay, and a visitor might see bears and wolves roaming Central Park. After 100 years, trees have ripped up the surface of the ground, and most buildings have collapsed. 300 years later, and almost nothing remains of the Big Apple as we know it. Number 7. Man-made structures. The only structures that last more than a few hundred years would be stone buildings, just like the pyramids or Acropolis that survive today. It's possible that they would survive for many thousands of years now that acid rain is a thing of the past. Glass and concrete buildings would crumble as the steel reinforcements corrode and swell. Few bridges would survive more than 300 years without painting or maintenance. Number 6. Machines. Almost all automated systems would fail within a day or so as the power grid shuts off. Some renewable energy plants like wind turbines would run until the machinery breaks. After a year, the night skies would light up with a strange shower of falling debris. There are over 1300 satellites orbiting Earth, and when they lose their guidance, they will fall through the atmosphere, burning up like shooting stars. Number 5. Materials. Very few human artifacts would survive much longer than the collapse of our cities. Plastic is one of the most durable, with bags lasting 20 years, 
but bottles wouldn't degrade fully until 500 years after we're gone. Metal containers like aluminum or aluminium would be gone in 200 years, but it could take as many as a million years before your glass beer bottle returns to the ground it came from. Number 4. The next ice age. Although current CO2 emissions are pushing back the world's glaciers, if the climate recovers, many of the world's cities will be overtaken by the next ice age in over 100,000 years. The movement of these glaciers will crush and grind the remains of our civilization, leaving only a powered residue of glass and PVC plastics as shameful evidence of our culture. Number 3. The new rules of Earth. The most obvious successor to humans as the most evolved form of intelligent life would seem to be fellow members of the ape family. But whatever doomsday scenario wipes out mankind is very likely to kill our simian cousins as well. In the new human-free environment, the best traits for dominance may be completely different. Intelligence is not necessary for survival, but it's possible that another conscious species could evolve from our reptilian ancestors. Number 2. Human fossils. Almost everything we know about extinct species comes from fossil records preserved in rock. The earliest records of Homo sapiens could be up to 300,000 years old. People bury themselves in the right places, their traces can last for many eras. The oldest fossils ever found came from 4.2 billion years ago. So there's a chance that our bones may be around for quite some time. Number 1. The Last Chase of Humanity When alien archaeologists land on Earth and search for evidence of our existence, will they find anything after our civilization has crumbled? Well, two things are for certain. Our TV and radio signals will be bouncing around an expanding universe forever, giving distant planets a taste of MTV. But the final monument to humankind rests on the moon, in an environment free from bacteria, moisture, movement, our lunar equipment will survive as a testament to our ingenuity. So guys, what do you think would happen if humans suddenly went extinct? Let us know in the comments section down below. We'll pin our favorite to the top. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!